Hello, I'm so glad that all of you came today. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about in the beginning of this, but to me what gas means is economic growth and job growth. And in our area this morning's paper says group delays may lead to drilling job cuts. Number one on my mind, number one on most people's minds around here, how are you going to take care of your families? How are you going to pay your taxes? Every year it's, oh, here's my tax bill. Just got this year's tax bill the other day. It's coming right up. We have our land. We have to pay taxes on it. In our economy today, there are so many people that are without jobs. Um, I have a great uh, letter here or reference that was sent to me from Mike Scotta. Thank you. Um, fracking ban costs New York not millions, but billions of dollars in lost economic output and tax revenue. I did make some copies. They're on the tables here. And please, um, at the end of this, if you would, there are some um, presentations that are set up. If you haven't seen them, um, they're very helpful. I know Steve Barton has set up a display uh, that shows pictures, and he has a rolling um, video of the, the properties in Pennsylvania. So you can see what little um, impact it actually has on the fields and in the environment. Um, when you take gas versus um, wind and solar um, for the economy, you want to see that, um, you know, if you want to have a wind farm, and we have this discussion in our group all the time, if you want to have a wind farm to, to produce the same BTUs that's produced on 0.3 um, of an acre, three-tenths of an acre. To have a wind farm produce the same BTUs, you need six acres of wind farms. The, the environmental impact, it's minimal with, with gas pipes. If you look at the pipes that are actually coming out of the ground, they're shorter than this podium is tall. Um, I believe Scott has some with his dog next to it. The gas pipes take up minimal, minimal space. Um, just touching on the jobs and the economy, um, in this handout, uh, what, what does this mean for New York State? Well, so far, um, between 2000 and 2010, um, the southern tier in western New York, they've lost 48,000 jobs in our economy. That wasn't including last year's job loss. Um, with that, if we had dress, um, hydrofracking going on now and extensive job growth, um, there would be $11.4 billion in economic output and $1.4 billion in tax revenues to our state. Our